like I said, we'll be focusing on the retina. That's where the action happens. None of the rest of it's not important. So all of these other structures in the eye, the goal of them is to help light focus right here. This is the fovea of the retina. The entire retina though, contains photoreceptors that allow for phototransduction. So this is where we're gonna zoom into now, into the retina, and then we'll talk about how the fovea is important specifically in a bit. So light is coming in from this direction, as you can see here. And what we'll look at when we zoom into the retina is that the cells that actually do the phototransduction are located at the very back of the retina. Let's go ahead and look at this. So here is a zoom in picture of the retina. So we zoom in to this right here. This is what we see. This is the very back of the eye. So the um, choroid and sclera would be over here. And then the vitreous humor would be over here. And the light is gonna actually pass through multiple layers of cells. They're primarily transparent. So light can pass through them and it's going to hit the cells in the back. These cells back here, what do you think they are? Rods and cones, those are photoreceptors. These are the cells that are able to change when light binds to them. So proteins are present within them that change shape when light, a photon of light binds, and they are able to transduce that light into a neural signal. So this is where visual information processing is initiated. There are two types of photoreceptors, so rods. These are very sensitive. They're able to detect low levels of light. So they work at nighttime. They are present in the periphery, opposed to in the fovea. Cones are located in the fovea where you're focusing. So when you're looking at me right now, you're, you're, the light is focused on your fovea. You stare at me right now, you can see things in the periphery. I can see my hand over here, but it's not very, I can't see it very well. I go like this and I look at it. I can now see it very clearly. That's when your fovea is focused on something. Cones are responsible for color vision, cones color, and they, are, they have high um, numbers in the fovea. So you can see really well in color in your, when you're focused on something. Cones also only work with high levels of light. So at nighttime, you actually can't see in color very well. Um, if the lights are down low, you, you can't really see colors. You might know that an apple is red, but you can't actually tell it is if you don't have enough light. There are three types of cones I'll come back to as well that allow you to see different colors. So three types of cones, one type of rod. So that's what's happening back here. Of course, we're going to look at the detail of how that happens, how light becomes a neural signal. So it's going to change a membrane, the membrane potential, and it's going to then communicate to the cells. The information is going to travel to bipolar cells. Bipolar cells are bipolar. Finally, we see some bipolar cells, meaning they have two processes coming off of a single cell body. Um, bipolar cells are going to transmit the information to ganglion cells. So this, these arrows going this way, this is neural information. Light goes this way, neural information goes that way. The axons of the ganglion cells become the optic nerve. So these axons are all gonna travel out right here. What is this little region right here then? That's the optic disc. This is the location in the retina 
where there are no photoreceptors because the optic nerve is traveling through there. It has to pass through. This is a photograph of the retinal surface. You get one of these if you go to the eye doctor um, where you can actually see a picture of the fovea is on this dark spot right here. That's a high concentration of cones. And then the optic disc, that is what the axons of the ganglion cells that are becoming, that have become the optic nerve to carry this information to the brain. This is a location where there's no photoreceptors. So it's called a blind spot. This is your blind spot. You can find it in your periphery um, if you look for it. You don't notice it most of the time because this is really cool. Your brain fills in the information um, based on the surroundings and based on your knowledge of what's in the surroundings so you don't actually notice your blind spot, but you do have a blind spot. Okay, one last thing in this video is just to kind of really emphasize this idea of the optic disc and how the retina is set up. I wanna draw you a little picture of um, the cephalopod eye. What? Um, this is octopi and squid. Their eyes are set up a little differently. So what they have is, this is an eye obviously, here is the lens, obviously. Um, they have their ganglion cells at the back of their eye. These are going to join together to form the optic nerve. So where are their photoreceptors? Get a different color here. We're going to do photoreceptors in red. Their photoreceptors are on this inner surface. So light is going to come in. Be focused to the back of the eye. And then information, that neural information is going to pass from the retina, I'm sorry, from the photoreceptors in the retina back to the ganglion cells, back to the optic nerve. So this is our squid. He or she has no blind spot. This is how you think you design an eye. However, humans and many vertebrates Here's our lens, here's our eye, here's our ganglion cells. Our retina is such that the photoreceptors are in back of the ganglion cells. I suppose I should label for both of these. This is our retina. I'm sorry, this is our photoreceptors for these vertebrates, that information coming in from light is transduced back here, then has to go this way. This information then has to pass through the optic nerve back this way. So let's just cross out these photoreceptors because they're not there. So this here, is our blind spot. It's the optic disc, which causes the blind spot. This might not how, be how you design an eye. That's how it is though. So I think that helps to emphasize those orders to help you remember, it doesn't make sense, <laughs> at least in most vertebrates.